welcome to Clean Money Lifestyle. My name is Christine. I am a nutritionist. So today we are going to talk about obesity and its dangers. Did you know that globally over 1.9 billion people are overweight with about 690 million being obese? So the question is, how do you define overweight and how do you define obesity? So we have this scale that we like to call a BMI scale. So most of you have seen it. We consider a normal BMI to be between 18.5 kilograms per meter squared to 24.5 kilograms per meter squared. So if you're within that range, you're within the normal range. Anything from 24.5 kilograms per meter squared to 29.5 kilograms per meter squared, we consider overweight. Anything that is above 29.5, we class as obese. So you can either be mildly obese, moderately obese, or morbidly obese, like severe obesity, okay? So, why does it matter? Did you know when you are obese, or if you are a company and your employees are obese, or you are an employer, then you lose money? Did you know that? How, you might ask, number one, the, the direct costs. So you lose money because the, your, your staff members will need to go on leave on sick leave because people who are overweight and obese tend to get sick more often with diseases that are such as lifestyle diseases. Of course, they're more susceptible to infections. So we have more work loss because of higher sick, sick leave taken. We have less work done of course this is for you both as an individual and as a corporate that does not make sense we need work to be done also the the cost that now involve the illness remember you'll have to buy medication you'll have to pay for lab lab tests sometimes you have to pay for surgery sometimes you even have to pay for admission so this is a these are costs that are incurred by you and then there are now again things like insurance costs. So for our company, more people will now more people will now need to have higher insurance premiums, higher life insurance premiums, higher health insurance premiums. So this is an added cost. Again, for individuals, you find that people who are research has shown that people who are obese tend to have less wages compared to their counterparts. Not because of anything else, but if you consider now the costs of now illness and the, in the future, and costs again of medical care, you tend to find work that is, you tend to find work that is lower paying, but again, with fewer benefits. So now, aside from that, so those are just the economic costs. There are those ones that we consider now the risks. What do you have to lose if you're overweight and if you're obese? Somebody who is obese is more likely to develop type 2 diabetes, more likely to develop hypertension, more likely to, de to have a stroke, more likely to have certain cancers, including breast cancer, more likely to suffer from infections. We have seen now what we have COVID-19. People who are overweight and obese are more likely to have severe illness. Now, that aside, what made you get there? So for some of us, we find that we have what we call genetics, all right? Yes, there are those genes that might cause you to be obese. But in most cases, it is a mixture of genetics, behavior, and environment. For example, your family might carry the obese gene, but 
your family is also more likely to have bad nutrition habits around them. So where you, where you come from, look at how your family eats. Are you more likely to consume more carbohydrates than vegetables and fruit? Are you likely to consume processed foods? So have a look and see what do, we, do all of us do as a family? And you would see that there are certain behavioral factors that you picked from your family background. The other thing is that you might think about now your personal behaviors. Do you exercise? Remember, we need to balance between how much you put in and how much you get out. So as we adopt this more sedentary lifestyles, a lot of us are working from home, we're not going to the office, so you don't need to commute, there's no travel involved. And for some of us, our gym is closed down. So we're still trying to figure out this whole exercise thing. So you realize that your pre quarantine genes are not fitting as well as they used to, okay? So this is something to think about. Physical activity is extremely important. The other thing is that we tend to now have those eating behaviors that we carried from our families and then we metamorphosize them into our own. So sometimes uh, we find families that ate more processed foods, you find children, even as adults, you're eating more processed foods versus your vegetables and whole foods. You tend to gravitate towards certain foods. Somebody likes pasta every single day. Somebody, especially for our young single men, you know you like to have your bread and something. What do you call it? Mukate mayai sometimes for dinner every single day. So You see, these are things that will we, we'll now exasperate the problem. Again now, if you now again we look at our emotions, how do you behave when you are hurt or when you are lonely or when you are tired? Is it tied to your food habits? A lot of us, we, when we get hungry, angry, lonely or tired, what we call halt, we tend to eat to placate our feelings. So that will contribute to gaining weight. How do you stop it? Then this just simply means, number one, we need to change our behaviors. We need to change the mindset that we have around food. It's important to sit down with our nutrition professional so that you can identify the habits that you carried from home. The environmental factors that may be around you that are causing you to be overweight or obese. Also, you now again, we encourage physical activity and now eating a diet that is full of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, lean meats, and less sugar and fat. Finally, there are some disease conditions that may cause us to gain weight or some medications that may cause us to gain weight. For example, people with polycystic ovarian syndrome really have issues with weight gain. Uh, even before and during treatment. Also, people who are on steroid medication, people who are on antidepressants, may also tend to gain a lot of weight. So this is not just because you have bad habits, it just means that you need a little bit more support to get to your goals. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.